We are back with a new script in Blender, it can convert your Excel data into a data comparison video, which is suitable for numeric data or percentage for a series of items, like the crime rate for various countries. You need to first prepare your data in this Excel format, this format is given below in the video description. Then you'll need to run our script in Blender, it will create the animation from your data, along with the camera motion and lighting, and later if you need you can manually change this background as well. So once you open Blender, you'll see this default cube which we can simply delete. Then we need to go to the text editor, from here. Now click on this new button, and then paste here the Python script. We have given the links for this script in the video description, along with all other files that are needed. So you'll have to just update the location of these files based on your machine, these three files can be used directly after you download them, but you need to prepare your data in this Excel file, based on the Excel format that we have provided. It's important that you follow this format for your data, otherwise the script will work. Here you need to enter the name of the primary data, or the items like country names. Then we have the main column here, like the crime rate in this case for an example, and remember that this data has to be only numeric. But you can use this column for the actual text, that will be displayed for each data, like we have used a percentage sign against these numbers. And then these two columns can be used in order to display any additional text just below the main data, anything that you want to add. And this last column should contain the location of your pictures, you need to enter the full path of the image files for the data points. But if you want to use an Excel file, you need to first execute one additional step. There are some modules that must be installed in order to connect your Excel to Blender, so you need to execute the one-time script given below, and it needs administrative access. Otherwise you can simply convert your Excel into a CSV file and run the final script, no special access or additional installations are required in that case, it's simple and straightforward. So let's save this Excel as a CSV file, from the Save As option. It's simple, we have to just select the CSV comma delimited option from the list. Excel will now convert and save this file as a CSV file, which we can use with the CSV version of our script. And we'll use the CSV file as our input in that case, and all other fields remain the same. You can customize the look and feel by changing some parameters, like you can change the camera start frame, or the animation speed by changing these factors, we have added a description for each of the parameters here. So once you are ready with the script, you can use this run button to execute the script. It can take some time, then let's go back to our viewport, and turn on the camera view mode. The script will set up everything, including the animation, camera movement, lighting, and some suitable materials for the objects. You can play the animation to verify it first, or you can render it directly. The viewport will play slowly, and there can be lags due to limited resources, but the actual output will be smooth as usual, so no need to worry. It will end up like this, and the script will automatically set the end frame number as suitable, but you can change this if needed. And please remember that the camera angle is very important here, especially if you are in EV. The materials may not display correctly with a low camera angle, because we are using a mix of two semi-transparent materials, for the wine glass and the liquid. This limitation does not exist in cycles and the overall animation and the materials will look far better, if you render it using cycles, so if you are a member of this channel, you can use our full script, which we have shared with our members. It has got a new field called render engine, you can set its value to 1, for EV, and 2 for cycles, the script will then adjust the materials for cycles, otherwise the EV settings won't look good in cycles. We are also sharing 5 different models with our members, that can bring some variations in the outlook. If you are using the free version, you have only one model which is the wine glass, if you want the full version, you can click on the join button below and take our membership. Later we'll also integrate this script, with our 3D data visualizer add-on, which is free from the installation hassles and quite easy to execute. If you already have this add-on, you'll get this update for free, when we publish the same. So I hope you like this script, and it helps you create some attractive data comparison videos. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.